power centers on three key issues when I work with communities. First, I think that power to shape the questions we ask is critically important. Second, the power to shape our research process to make sure it is not simply extracting data for our own benefit as researchers, but also is contributing to the betterment of community partners that we're working with. And the third is the power to package results in a way that is useful to our community partners. So what might be an ideal power balance in one community may be different in another community, but there are standard steps that we take. And recalling going back to why we call it community learning, we're trying to look at different interventions and how they work, whom they might apply to, and what the circumstances are for achieving the goals set out by the community. I mean, I really see it as a symbiotic relationship, right, where it's both a give and take, um, where both parties um, have benefits. Um, from the relationship uh, and, and it's really important to mutually develop that trust between researchers and community and to understand that um, you know it's, it's a shared partnership um, and that it's a give and take and that both parties have something to bring to the table for, um, for mutual interest. You have to build trust um, at least with the key set of community stakeholders. Uh, that you're not just there for a short period of time to extract something from them that is to your benefit, you know, that you're trying to effectuate a long-term you know, change uh, in effect and something that, that, that they're uh, interested in. And that's not something that can happen overnight. We're, we're not a part of that community and we're, like I said, seeing more of us, you know, disingenuous and being more of a threat. They're not going to be open and be vulnerable to sharing your stories and sharing uh, what they're going through or what they need. And so I think with um, that empathy component, we're able to, we can accomplish a lot more than what we expect, but also it would give more uh, realness and authenticity to a lot of the answers that we're hoping to uh, give them or a lot of the solutions that we're hoping to uh, provide them. To have a true community or academic partnership, recognition that it will be fluid and changing all the time is a necessity. There will be ebbs and flows in terms of workloads, but with transparent communication and a structure of constant check-ins and meetings, partnerships can be collaborative and co-equal. Our recommendation is always to engage early uh, and invest early in our community leaders to be a part of the process. And, and they will then be the champions, they will then uh, be that fuel that will drive that policy change long term.